All right, so here is the finished product. Uh, short of having some chocolate garamias in here, it's pretty much done. Um, I've got to record at night time because it is nearly impossible to see it during the day because it's in the window and there's so much glare. Um, it, sits, it looks fantastic. It's just really hard to record during the day. Um, and the light itself that I've got over it, although it does really good for the fish because it's very low light, um, it makes it incredibly hard to record as well. So I'll flick the, the room light off to give you a bit of an idea of how hard it is to record. So it's really, really hard to get some decent definition um, inside the aquarium because it's quite dark, uh, which is exactly what I want. I've, I've achieved everything I wanted, except for being able to record it. So um, I'll bring a bigger light in for the rest of this video so we can actually record and see what's in it. So we're absolutely lit up like a Christmas tree now and you can see absolutely what's in it. Um, so at the back there, Balenza is coming through quite nicely. It's hit the top of the water and it's growing out of the water just a smidgen. Ephinus up the front there is going well. Uh, what I believe is the Lutea. And through there, it's going quite nicely. And I think that's Cialata up the front as well, which is growing well. Oh, I have added some Indian fern, which is achieving everything I wanted to do. Drawing back nutrients, giving a little bit of cover from the bright light during the day. Um, it's also giving that canopy for the Rasbora and, and the coolies in there to kind of feel secure. I see the coolies quite regular, which I'm happy with. Um, they're always sort of twisting themselves around stuff and playing in bits of wood and everything like that, so that's really cool. I'm pretty happy with the amount of algae that's growing in there. I wanted some. I think that uh, leads to a natural looking aquarium, and that was exactly what I was trying to achieve. A really nice natural look that the fish would feel really comfortable in. And that's what I think I've, I've done. There's a curly at the bottom there. The leaves themselves are breaking down quite nicely. It's a nice little layer of mold coming through. I'm due to put some more in soon, so I'll fill a few more into a bucket of some water to soften them up and chuck them in. Uh, the tint is normally a little bit more tinted than this. Um, I haven't put any uh, rooibos tea water in here recently because I knew I was going to do a video and I wanted to be able to see into the video but it's normally a couple of shades darker um, overall I'm really really happy with it I'm stoked it's um, the dining room has now turned into my working office space so every time I'm out here working I spend a lot of time watching it and not working but I'm okay with that so I'll be quiet now and I'll just take some videos